Richard only attended day one and George only attended day two. Neither participated in any on-court work, but the two made the most of their time at the camp, which included a good old-fashioned whiteboard, where Kobe discussed scenarios in the half court, testing in the cognition lab, which through the utilization of headphones and iPads, players were tested for spatial awareness, reflex speed, and the ability to compute information. Kyrie Irving and Aaron Gordon recorded the best reflexes, and on-court work that was individual skill-related drills with some light scrimmaging, three-on-twos, and one-on-ones. Mamba Sports Academy's Twitter and Instagram accounts released a few promos from the camp, which included some of the on-court work. Kobe is seen teaching Kyrie his signature moves and advising him on how to make some of his offensive moves more effective, such as the step-through layup. And nothing is more Jordan, Kobe-esque than the mid-range fadeaway jumper, which Irving worked on directly with Kobe at the camp. We all know that it's one thing to work on something in practice and another to actually do it in a game. So when have we seen Kyrie put this training with Kobe into work this season? How about on the road at Memphis? Irving pushes the tempo, leading to the misdirection, right to left step through layup. And although this is not identical to what we saw in the training video, it's the same concept that Bryant was working on with Irving in late August. How about the fadeaway mid-range jumper? Prime example of this this season was against New Orleans. Kyrie goes to the right to left shoulder spin move fadeaway and drops it in. While Kawhi Leonard did not participate in the camp, he spent ample time in Bryant's ear and working through his jumper with him and also shared an animated conversation with Irving, according to a source. And hold up, can we take a quick second to acknowledge one thing here? Kawhi Leonard would be that guy. He would be that guy to show up to Nike territory in a full New Balance fit. Now, I know he's with New Balance and all that good stuff, but literally, the man is head to toe with big logos. Anyway, these convos and working through his jumper must have impacted Leonard in a big way because his mid-range game has been lethal. It has been on point since opening night. And it's no coincidence that through the first 10 games of the season, many attendees of the Mamba Sports Pro Invitational Camp find themselves on the top charts for mid-range jumpers. I conducted statistical research for mid-range efficiency. Given that the player must shoot greater than or equal to 45% on such shots and have attempted greater than or equal to 30 shots. Considering 10 games, this would mean that a player would have to attempt at least three mid-range jumpers from these distances a game to show that this is a regular shot they attempt. From 10 to 14 feet, Kawhi Leonard and Kyrie Irving are two of four players at the top of the charts for field goal percentage. Now, 15 to 19 feet, Jamal Murray and Kawhi Leonard rank in the top seven for field goal percentage with Kyrie falling out of this list at 39.1%, which is still a solid mark. Murray and Leonard attended the Mamba Sports Pro Invitational, and although DeMar DeRozan did not, he's a documented Kobe and enthusiast down to the sneakers. So what's my conclusion here? What am I getting at? All NBA players have stars they looked up to and hope to emulate, but how often do you see their games actually reflecting the stars they looked up to? The only way this is possible is for said star to work with the players that are looking up to him, and this is exactly what Kobe is doing. Utilizing his Mamba Sports Academy is a smart way to drive traffic to the facility, sell merchandise, and most importantly, develop young athletes. And we're seeing tangible results at the NBA level. Thus, my title from the video linked in the description is coming true. More Tackle Tackle coming soon. Stay solid, people.